Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceful Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this reading is a, a general reading so it may not resonate with everybody so it's really important that you take whatever resonates with you and you leave the rest of it aside. If however though you do have any questions and you would like to inquire about having your own personal reading uh, with your vibes, with your energy, your questions, your relationships, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. It'll be my great pleasure to send you the necessary information. Um, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it would be greatly appreciated. So with no further ado, we're going to begin this reading. I would like to mention that prior to um, recording this video, I have channeled your past loved ones for the sign of Virgo. This is why it's very important that you be of the sign of Virgo. So these are channeled messages for you from your past loved ones. I have three of them. These are warnings. These are um, messages um, from things that they see okay they can now see your path they see your journey they want to help you they want to guide you they want to be there every step of the way with you in order to do so they're seeing things that maybe you're not seeing right now and they would like you to remove those blockages so you can move on forward so this is really about warnings things that we must change in our past and um so i have three of them if only one resonates take one if all three take all three um take whatever is resonating with you um and i'm going to finish it off with an oracle card at the very ending so let's begin over here i have death i have regret and i have worry so let's begin with the very first one here let's begin with death your past loved ones would like you to learn. They would like you to accept that endings are merely beginnings. They are simply different. Their life has not ended. It has begun anew. It is just a different level. Uh, death is simply an illusion. It's a fact of life that the human body we use to travel the earth must eventually just stop working. It's not meant to exist forever. The energy and the consciousness that inhabited that body is free and returns to its natural home, but it never, ever, ever abandoned us. Learn to view death as merely a change, and everything must change, because stagnancy extinguishes progress. And the same is true for a relationship or even for a career. A soul lesson must be completed here and it is time for you to move beyond this point or familiarity and expand into new horizons of learning and your development. This is a wonderful opportunity to thank those other souls in your life who have shared part of your path and taught you so very much. Okay, so really, really, really important. They really are stressing the fact that this is simply a beginning for them. And it is also a beginning for you because for you, it is a change. It is a beginning. It is something that is different. So you must accept these changes, move on forward and accept the new beginning that comes with it, with all of its challenges. Now we're going to move on to the following message, which I have, which is regret. This is about acknowledging that you cannot change the past. That the soul doesn't know time. Time is a construct of the physical dimension. That's it. To your soul, there is only one big now. Think of the past as the now that has already been created and the future as the now that has yet to be created. You don't have the power to uncreate the past, so you need to let that go. Your power of creation lies in your awareness to the present. You have the power to not only create your future, but also create acceptance of your past. You should realize that you are the total summation of every single experience that you have had. These experiences have helped you shape you into the person that you are today. You need to train yourself not to judge past events as good or as bad, but as opportunities. What have you learned from the past that will help enrich your future? Focusing on the past and letting it dictate the direction of your future is really taking your power away from yourself 
and you are the creator. Your past loved ones want you to remember and want you to acknowledge that you are the creator of your own life. You hold the power. You need to reflect on the lessons of the past and you need to use your current power to create your bright future. Now moving over to the final message that you have and this is about worry. This is about learning that worry doesn't change an outcome ever. Worry is a wasted emotion. It does nothing other than give you the illusion of control. And when you expand too much energy, worrying, it limits you and has an adverse effect on the natural energy of your soul. Now worrying destroys the hope, worrying destroys the faith and the excitement that are all wonderful elements in this fantastic schoolroom called Earth. Now you must remember that you are what you think, okay? And you have the power to create positive thoughts which beget positive outcomes. Worry is a negative emotion and it sets you up for a negative result. What unnecessary worries are you carrying around with you now? Try to examine them. Examine them objectively in the light of love. Help your soul by releasing them and be fully connected to the current moment, which is where your power does reside right now. You need to let go of those worries. They are taking too much room, too much of your energy, and they are bringing negativity into your world. I'm moving over to the final message that I have for yourself, and this is all about forgiving yourself. In school, you're not always going to give the right answers, right? In school, sometimes you're going to act out. In school, sometimes you don't focus on the lesson at hand. And in school, sometimes you will be cruel. Have you ever looked back at your time in school and not been able to forgive yourself for these transgressions? Probably not. Well, you have chosen Earth as your schoolroom, and you should be just as lenient. You are here to learn. It's important to forgive yourself when you make errors and living with the guilt of the past deeds. They simply block your energy of the future and each soul progresses in its own time. But when you don't allow yourself forgiveness, you are shutting off the heart and telling the universe you are simply not worthy to receive. If you have caused pain to another, it is imperative to apologize to them in addition to forgiving yourself. Your past loved ones can't stress enough the importance of forgiveness, either to yourself or to another. Carrying the negative energy of guilt as well as the negative energy of resentment back to the spirit world causes unwanted karmic entanglements and you do not want that. Not clearing this energy while you are still into this physical dimension before you make your own transition to spirit is a huge source of regret for many souls. Your past loved ones want you to act now. That being said, my dear friends Virgo, this does conclude your um, warning messages from your past loved ones. I hope that you were able to connect. I hope that you enjoyed the reading. Um, if you do have any questions, you would like a personal reading, romancefultarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for any following readings. I wish you a beautiful day, many blessings, much love, much courage, and I will see you tomorrow with another reading.